by getting to know this very special artist. I have right here for you the Because of You hit maker, Keith Martin. Sir Keith, thank you so much doing? for being here. How are you? I'm cool. I'm cool. Glad to be here. You know, okay. something to do. <laughs> so how did you discover that you have such a passion for music? Um, growing up as a kid, uh, everybody in my family does music, you know, and moms, pops, cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents, everybody did music. So it was always around. Definitely. So, but how did you know that you wanted to make a career out of it? Did you know or did it just happen? As far as being an artist, I never really pursued that. That kind of fell in my lap by accident. But my whole passion then was, you know, and still now is uh, songwriting and producing. So what is music for Keith Martin? Music is life. That's yeah. how I express myself. That's how you get to know the real Keith through the songs. I, for one, practically grew up with your global hit song because of oh, you. So, you. can you tell us more about it? Who was the inspiration for this song, and how did it? How did this song open doors for your career? Because of you was an accident song. Because I was doing it for a choir in Philly. I was singing to a video camera, but the dude in the back in the booth had the tape running so they kind of like recorded it and I was playing live and only did it once then it started you know circulating on its own you know maybe a year or so after how did it open doors for your music career? because you kind of was by word of mouth that kicked off the second leg of my career there was no marketing agenda behind it because of you no video no nothing I was pretty much out so I was off doing other things. You know, it was by fluke I heard that it was blowing up out here. A guy by the name of Henry Anlato, he was in the US and he got in contact with the production company I was with and told me that GMA wanted to invite me out here for a concert series in 2004. And he said my song was blowing up out here. I had no idea because my head was on other things. I didn't know what it was doing in the Philippines. What convinced me to stay was <laughs> Uh, Boys the Men was in town, and me and Nate were talking, and I was asking him, you know, I don't know, what should I do? And Nate was actually the person who convinced me to stay. He said, man, you're going to sign a deal. Just go ahead and uh, ride it out. Nate's a sound business guy, so I asked him about it. I mean, I had been everywhere in the U.S., you know. I was touring with MC Hammer, then I was touring with my own thing. So I pretty much did everything I wanted to do in the U.S., but I hadn't been abroad, you know, on an extended type of situation. So, yeah, so I'm like, you know, I might as well ride it till the brakes fall off. But what's the one thing that you love most about Philippines? Well, the people, the culture, the music itself, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's really laid back. Favorite island right now for me that I've been to uh, was Bahal. I love Bahal. That's my spot. Yeah, I love Bahal. That was, ooh, it changed my world. Eventually, I want to get a Tarzir. What's with the Tarzir? I like him. Okay. He looked like me. <laughs> You're working with a lot of Filipino artists. Can you tell us more about them? Yeah, um, right now, I'm going to be starting to work on the songs for Nina. I'm working with some unknown artists right now, some youngsters. That's going to be coming out. Move the culture forward. I'm slated to do some songs for Isabella Gonzalez, Kula Desmond's daughter, Jake Cyrus. We talk. I'm doing some things. I've also heard earlier that you've mentored artists and now they're making a name for themselves in the music scene. Oh, I'm, I'm proud of it. It's good to know that you know you can arm somebody to go do what they need to do. What goes into like mentoring? Like, you mentioned you guys are talking like voice coach, are you talking like about business, like what, what exactly? Well, it's when 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 I'm producing artists, I try to give them all those aspects. They approach you or you, you go seek them? Uh, they approach me pretty much. You yeah. know, they'll email me or see me in the streets or whatever. Okay. You know, and I'll check them out. Um, I assess their level and then we try to fashion music according to their personality. You know, because everybody can't sing everything. I try to give them their own identity with songs, you know. So making a name for oneself in the music industry is really a dream come true for aspiring artists, right? But mm -hmm. what was the, obs the hardest obstacle that you had to endure when you and your music first became known to everyone? Making sure the business was right. 
that 10% business will determine how much you get paid for your 90% show. I was lucky enough to be able to produce half my CD, and that was uncommon for an unknown first-time artist on a major label. People don't understand that this is a business and somebody is collecting. So besides writing for Filipino artists, I'm sure everyone is curious, where is Keith Martin now and what's next for him? Been performing with the band La Raza, you know, my boys here, Teban, <laughs> and my boy right here, Jeff, uh, Jethro Martinez. You'll be hearing some new singles from me and La Raza band soon. I want to ask you guys, how did you meet Sir? Oh, no, here you go. One of my godfathers asked me if I could like, make, make, a, make an audition for as his drummer. After the first chorus, he just said, stop it. I was like, oh my god, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't know if it was, if he's like uh, having fun or what. And when I went out to the live room, he said, where were you all this time? <laughs> <laughs> when I started drumming, he said, it kind of felt like home. And what's the best part of working with him? It's the best part. The best part? Yeah. He's funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. He still teaches me a lot of things. I'm uh, doing mostly on rehearsals. He still kicks it. I let, yeah. him, I let him be him, you know? You do you. It's, it's, a other, <laughs> it's a lot of restricted players out here. Just do what you do. I don't I don't stop them from expressing themselves. Today I'm gonna ask you to play a tongue twister. But of course it's in Tagalog. <laughs> if my tongue jump out my head and run out the door, it's your fault. Mumili ako ng bituka ng butike sa butika. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Yep. What you said? Bumili ako ng bikuta butiki sa butika. Okay. Faster. Faster. A bit faster. Because... Give me a brain. And your reason for... Bumili ako ng bikuta ng butiki sa butika. Kabalugan ng buwan, buwan ng gabaligan. <laughs> Kabalugan. Okay, is that good enough for you guys? Kabalugan. Kabalugan, man! Pitong put, pitong puting pating. Sound like a drum roll. <laughs> it's hard for me too. Pitong put, pitong puting pating. Yes, sir! I was doing it. Wow. Minika ni Koli Monico ang makina ng minika ni Monica. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. You're sweating. Manika <laughs> nakinu. Uh, <laughs> That's what it is. Minikaniko. Oh, yeah. Minikaniko ni maniko ang makina ang minika ni manika. I got into two parts. Nakakapag. Nakap. Nakakapag. Uh, Nakakapag. Pabagabag. Pabagabag. No. No. <laughs> Bagabag. And of course, you be doing us the huge honor of performing with us tonight. So what are you guys gonna perform for us? Uh, we'll probably do a couple of three songs or so, you know. A song I wrote called Just For Me and a classic, classic uh, Christopher Cross song, Sailing, and uh, of course because of you. Yeah. Definitely. Because of On, gave all I had. All right, so thank you so much, Sir thank Keith you. Martin, for guesting here at Music Dad. It's Appreciate been such a great it. honor. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I have fun, you know. I'm glad y'all can have us out here and do our thing, you know. <laughs> so, where can people find your social media? Oh, wow. You know, you can find me on Instagram at Keith Martin Music, Twitter, Keith Martin 50, and definitely Facebook. Keith Eric Martin. So you can find me on there and uh, you can 
find the band La Raza. Instagram and Facebook. That's my crew. So. Thank you. So, where can people find you if they want to see your performance? Uh, we're performing every Monday at Resorts World 360 Bar. Come and catch us there. Also, uh, uh, Tuesdays at uh, Cabin in uh, Makati at a venue, Cabin Bar. And uh, I do my acoustic thing on Thursdays at Eastwood, La Beast. We're gonna do some more things somewhere else. Hopefully soon, Taco Bar and QC. And, uh, keep it going. So again, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you.